Okay guys, so you can see that I have taken out um, the transaxle from the Red Murray. And this is actually a 16 year old transaxle, I believe. It's 97... Yeah, no. 17. 17 or 18 years old. Um, so, I'm gonna... I already got all the bolts out. Great, they didn't... None of them broke. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the ease locker today. Um, right now it didn't pop open, I've got all the bolts out, I'm going to try hitting it. Okay, it's not coming undone. I'm going to get this open. Okay, guys, you can see that I it's uh, open now. And how you do go about doing that is if tapping it on some of these hard casting parts does not work, then go over around in this area. There's usually a little notch. Get a big-ass screwdriver and gently tap it in. And get about three screwdrivers that are a pretty good size. Actually, start out with a pretty small one. Get that one in. And get a big one in and work your way all the way around, alternating between them. But now it's open, let's pull it up. So, everything in here, whoops, actually that's okay, looks really good shape, everything's working smoothly, only thing we don't want working smoothly is those spider gears, so I'm going to get you a close up on that. This is what we're stopping by locking it, right here. And this is the ease lock. You do not need a welder. You do not need to melt any zinc. All you need... Let me grab it. Where is one? <laughs> yep. Oh wait, that's a crappy one. There they are. All you need... The second spider gear. Alright, another spider gear. Only one. And basically what we do is we're going to pull out those axles and put it in there. And it'll lock it up. And, um... It'll keep them from locking up. And you can only do one. If you do two, the uh, axles will not sit right in the ball gear. One will be higher than the other. And then it could uh, blow itself up when you put it together. You only do one. Only one. I'm gonna, I can't stress that enough. So, let's zoom out. Since everything's clean and this is all I'm doing to it is locking it, I'm just going to carefully lift this up. Put this over here. Make sure you reset that in here. Leave that alone. So, let's get this over here. Pop out one this way. Uh, pop those and then push up. Or push down. Pull up and then push down. So, you can see this is basically all we're doing. So, we take this, slide this one in, okay, and we center it, push it back in, center the gear, giving it a little push, right about there, lift it up, 
push this in there kind of like that. Make sure it meshes well with this. And then carefully drop it back in. Make sure it sits right. Oops. Pin. It doesn't have notches on it. That shows how old my tractor was because that's what it had in this pillows. There we go. You have to fiddle with it a lot. Find that right combination, slide it in. Make sure the axle sitting level. So, now that that's there, pull up. Ah, crap. It's tedious, but you can get it. <laughs> Now, here's how you can tell if you have it in wrong. See how far out the gear is? Uh, I'm gonna, my hands are greasy, so this is going to be a terrible shot. But if you see where the third, the fifth gear is, the fifth spider gear, it's not touching that axle, and it's completely in that axle. That is not what you want. You want to center it inside the bull gear. It's going to be. It's a little bit difficult and tedious to get the right combination with the teeth, but it's possible. pop this shaft out and just set it right there so I can turn the bulk gear in here. Here's another strategy. Place it straight on the table. I'll move the camera so you can see it. There. Place it straight down on the table. Line it up. Make sure it centers with it. Wait a minute. Oh dear. Okay, I found the problem. 
This one has more, has, le has less teeth. This is the heavier duty one. This is the lighter duty. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Hold on one moment. So, now I have three heavy duty ones. Let's see if I replace this, like this, will it work then? Even though these are the, still the old lower duty ones. That looks like it works. Be patient. Okay, I think I figured out how I can do this. Give me one moment. Okay, so I'm back. All I had to do was, or what I'm going to do is switch out the axles and spider gears. Um, I had to stop for a second because I had to go find the second spider gear I had. Because this is the same, this is the right kind of spider gear I need. Um... I just had to find it because I was missing one, and if I did it this way, I wouldn't have another gear for my for my ax my transaxle when I get mine. So now let's put it in. So now that we can actually uh, put this on right with the right parts, that's what you need to do. You need to find out the key. You find the um, you match up your uh, <laughs> your um, part numbers when you do this and how you tell is on your sticker for this at the very uh, you'll say MST 20 whatever speed it is dash number 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 and then sometimes a letter if there's a letter that's good it's a higher duty if there's none then it's very standard and it's you should upgrade it a is the lowest duty which is this one so, I believe it's just how the gears are made, they're upgraded, which these are seemingly the same gears that were in mine up here. Um, and then C is supposed, or B. I forget what the difference was B was, but then C, you upgrade to these spider gears, these big ones. And then D, um, I think it was, I don't remember. But I know at C and up, you have these gears and B and below you have these so um, that's what you need to pay attention to so this is also this track this axle is actually getting an upgrade now since I am doing this so let's put this in correctly now Now, see, that's what can happen right there. That's what you need to check. So I didn't get them in very well. Yeah, I see it. So I need to pull them out and try again. This is basically what you're entirely doing. Now, a quick hint what you can do is set one of these, set this tooth right in the middle, and then set the middle of a tooth in the middle here. And then you can... Then you just line them up this way. I'll do that real quick.
it's just in and out. It's a very repetitive process. Just get it till you get it. <laughs> Do it till you get it. Let's try this. Okay, so I finally did it. Um, it took me a good long time. I did have to remove one of these washers because of uh, the extra space is taken up. But you can see these axles are not lifting out. It's turning smoothly. And it's locked. So, I'm going to have to clean up the surface. I'll just place it on top of now because it's getting kind of late. And then I'll uh, put a little RTV stuff all over it and put it back together. So, once again, that is how you ease lock your transaxle. It is, it's really difficult to get this together and in place. Um, I would say put these in, put all three or four gears in without this axle. And fin finesse it together until the uh, the spare gear on the bot right here lines up more or less very closely with the edges of these gears of this gear here, okay? And then gently and carefully pick it up and slide the other one in, and just triple double check, triple check um, to make sure oops, these um, these axles are not going up. And when you put it back together, put these tabs down, these little tabs on this, these bearings right here. See this tab? There's a little tab right there. Okay. You see that? I didn't do that on my last transaxle, and that's what blew it. It blew two day, a day later. Or the day after I was riding it, and it cracked the whole side of the case. I still have the case right here. This is the case for mine. You see that nice, pretty crack all the way around. So, and also the same thing with these um, these little uh, brass looking bushings. They're squared, so you put them in the grooves in the right place. Alright guys, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video.